What's going on there, YouTube? What's happening? It seems like it's been a little while. It's been a while. So, this video I've been meaning to do for a while. Um, most of you guys know, I am friends with a dude named Tenderfoot. Tenderfoot is the guy who makes all my wonderful little stands. Makes all these nice little stands that I, you see me breaking out in videos. Um, he's just a great guy. He's just a great guy. And recently, I got something else from him. Um, and I was thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Uh, my crap live show uh, that Google took a giant dump on, uh, that was what, last Wednesday. Uh, they've been doing it to everybody, guys. Even Trevor Jones' show this morning was just in and out, in and out. Uh, I got to watch a replay. I didn't get to see it live. I was out doing stuff. But, so, I got a series box from him. Um, he had it wired at he had it wired parallel. Um, he had it wired parallel. Uh, I asked him if he would go ahead and get that switched out for me. We'll see a lot more of this up close, but um, he was saying, you know, why doesn't you know? Uh, I've had this box for a while. I'm just going to keep it. I said, dude, why? I'll take it. And uh, I asked him, hey, you know, would you get it wired in series for me? That's more my style of vaping than, than a parallel box. Uh, I've got plenty of regulated devices. Uh, I don't have a series box. Um, and I know for a fact that that would be more my style. So he got it rewired for me. Um, he wanted to take way less than what he originally was asking for it. Uh, he does stuff like that. Tenderfoot is a great guy. Uh, if you talk to him, if you become friends with him, you'll get you get to know him. And he just does he just does things like that. Um, he goes and he gets a box rewired for me, and then quotes me, you know, thirty dollars less than he was quoting for anybody else, for a hell of a box. So so I have been meaning to do a video on all the Tenderfoot stuff that I have, uh, which is mainly just, I've got several stands, I've got a Batman stand, and now I've got a box, now I've got a series box from it. Um, figured we'd go through and we'd look at the quality of it, we'd look at the quality of the stuff real quick. One of the main questions I get asked, uh, anytime I'm doing a build video is, hey Fresh, where'd you get that stand? Uh, and then I say, hey, check the link in the description. So I figured I would just do a whole video on Tenderfoot stuff. So, Tenderfoot's is a, like I said, he's a friend of mine. Uh, I'm going to gush about this stuff. Uh, his build stands completely changed how I, w how I built. Um, how I still build. Uh, it completely changed. Because I was building on ohm meters. I was building on mods. You know, I didn't have a dedicated build stand. And when I got the build stand, it completely, completely changed what I was up to. And I've given several out, and there's always been nothing but great things that come back. Like, hey, dude, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to think of this thing. It's pretty awesome. Um, Tenderfoot, or uh, Butt Kickers, Butt Kickers Reviews, Danny Brandt. Who else have I given one out to? I know there's one more. Addy Tooney. Addy Tooney. Uh, I mailed one to Addy Tooney. So... Those three guys have all gotten Tenderfoot stands from me, and they all love them. So, um, I figured we'd do something real quick up close. Man, I just ramble, don't I? I just ramble. I just ramble. So, let's move the camera down low. We'll take a look at some stuff. Uh, I'll grab the Batman stand. I'll drag it over here. Um, we'll take a look at that. And I'll show you, you know, just kind of the quality, um, how nice these are. All right, so let's let's go down low, guys. All right, guys, here we are down low. Let's go ahead. And let's pull some tenderfoot stands into the picture. We got the Freak Show. We got the Derringer Large Caliber. We got the Derringer, and this one doesn't have anything on it. So. They all come, they all come with a 510, nice 510, um, it's not glued or anything, it's all press fit, 
it's all press fit in there. Um, sometimes, if the, depending on the wood, he'll stamp the bottoms. Uh, that one's not stamped. That one kind of tried. No way in heck he tried on this one. That's way. Oh, he did try. He did try on that one. It all depends on the wood. These two are very, very dense wood. These are heavy. These two right here are heavy. These are his large style. These are his large style. Uh, actually, I kind of prefer these because I got kind of big, big hands with fat fingers. So, um, so this is ideal. I mean, you you just, you know, you screw your addy in. Screw your addy in. Yank the top off, and you're off and running. And you don't have any weird angles. You're not you know when you're you got the same thing going on like an ohm meter you know you're always working weird angles you, know, you always got a weird angle and forget a mod forget a mod you know you're always working with a weird angle you know you gotta hold it like this or you gotta hold it you know you're always twisting and moving twisting and moving twisting and moving it's not the case with the tenderfoot stand tenderfoot stand circular Everything's nice and centered. Derringer Large Caliber coming soon on my channel. There we go. That's about right. There we go. Anyway, so, like I said, you know, you're always, you've always got a consistent angle. You've always got the same hand hold all the way around. Got juice all over my fingers, all over my tender foot stand, all over my, everything. So, let's go ahead and a little up closer here. So, you just see, you just see the quality. You know, he's. He builds these by request. He doesn't, or he he builds and then you take you take you take what he's got, um, essentially, because he's one guy working out of his garage. So you can see, even with these little ones, it's it's just really really comfortable in your hand to hold. You know you you can always get in there, you know. You know you're working on your Addy. working on your Addy, you sit in there, you know, you you know, you just turn it, you've always got the same handhold, you don't have to worry about dropping anything, just nice, nice and comfortable in your hand. So, if you've ever watched like Trevor Jones's video, it's all he builds on is tenderfoot stands. And there's a reason, there's a reason that a builder as good as he is builds like this, builds on these. So, there's the little one. There's a little one. Like I said, doesn't little it's a little small for my hand, but I was building on these for quite a while. And I liked it. Liked it quite a bit. And then I'm you know, then he sent me I think it was this guy. This was the next guy he sent me. Yeah. Kind of plain. Kind of plain Jane. But really, really nice. Really, really nice. And this fit my hand better. And then he started making it in this style. This one is special. You're not going to be able to. He doesn't make these. Uh, I think there's four, four of these out in the world. Uh, I've got one. Trevor Jones has one. Uh, one of Tenderfoot's friends has one, and I think David Anderson. I think David Anderson, one of one of my viewers, has one. So, but anyway, man, that Eddie's got a lot of juice on it. See, that's what I get for messing with stuff, guys. That's what I get for messing with stuff. But you're not going to be able to get this particular type. But you'll see stuff like this pop up on his Facebook page. You'll see stuff like this pop up on his Facebook page. You'll see stuff like this pop up on his Facebook page. You know, he does, uh, he occasionally does runs of stabilized wood. That's occasional. That's occasional. It's not going to be an often thing. Your stabilized wood ones look like this. Look like these. Um, this is called, this is called hedge wood. This one right here is called hedge wood. Um, but these are what your stabilized wood ones look like. 
like I said, it's a nice 510. You're not, it's not going anywhere. It's just press fit. There's no glue, anything like that. He does put kind of a wax finish uh, on some of them. Some of them he doesn't. Some of them he doesn't. Like this one's fairly plain Jane. Fairly plain Jane. And then sometimes he'll do a special. He'll do special runs of stuff like this, like the Edgewood. Um, he said he's not making any more of these just because it's such a hard, dense wood and it's a little rough to work with. Um, so there's only four of those out there. Only four. And I happen to get one of them. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's the ten. That's the tenderfoot stand. You'll always hear me talking about. Always, if you come on my live shows, I'll, I'll push you, push you towards getting a tenderfoot stand, and you'll love it. Um, you know, he does take requests. If he thinks he can do it, he'll let you know. Um, most of the time, though, you're buying what you're buying what he's made because he's one guy sitting in his. There's one. He's one guy sitting sitting in his garage making this stuff. Um, let's go over to the series box. Let's push all these up. Let's push those up. Let's go to the series box here. Got the Kennedy on top. Got the Kennedy on top. Um, just a nice stained finish. Um, he did. Tender footed up for me. Nice tender foot right inside. Nice, nice strong magnets here. Strong magnet, strong magnet, strong magnets. Um, it is series, so you got your pluses and minuses here. Um, there's a MOSFET back in there. Really nice switch. Um, he had this, this, and the sled. He put all that in, and he just had the guy wire it. And the guy wired it in series for me. So. You see, it's it's all really nice, really nicely put together. So this is one of those special items you don't see him put them up there very often. But when he does, it's well worth it. This thing is wonderful. The quality is the quality is great. Look at just a nice. Everything fits nice and flush. Everything, you know. If you shake it, it's not coming off. See, no rattle, nothing like that. Everything fits together nice. You can see up top. See up top there. See the bottom, see the back side of it, but it's just a nice stained finish. Just a nice stained finish. It has a great 510 on it. Urgh, if I can get the Kennedy okay, to come on. Go ahead and remove the batteries on this, guys. So, go ahead and show you the 510 there, real quick. Just, it's a Fat Daddy, a nice Fat Daddy spring loaded 510. Spring loaded. Spring loaded down in there. There's the battery sled. Even labeled it for me. Uh, I believe he had to peel one of the stickers. <laughs> um, wired up nice. Wired up nice. Wired up nice for me. Get my batteries back in here. So I can have a vape. Have a proper vape. There it is. All put back together. Just slap your batteries in. Get your Kennedy, get your Kennedy back on. There you go, ready to rock and roll. And it hits, it hits hard, it hits hard like a series block should. Should guys, like it should. So there you go. There you go. There's the there's the tenderfoot series box. All right, guys. So you may recognize this if you have watched a live show of, or two. I got a tenderfoot tenderfoot Batman stand. Nice drawer. You can drop your tools in there. You can drop your extra Addy pieces in there. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, Here's the top. There's the top portion of it. Kind of see it on the viewfinder. It looks like everything's in there. There's my Invader Mini. Uh, there's my Honeydew Lime Juice. Uh, Rational Fear of Watermelons. But Invader Mini just sits in there nice. IPv3 just sits in there nice. Series box just sits in there nice. Let's go ahead and look at that. Here we go. The 100 watt plus sits in there nice. Just, you can just 
have all your box mods sitting right there, ready to go. You grab whichever one you're vaping on. Did that look neat? I hope that looked neat. I hope that looked neat, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Bring chuck a couple juices in there. Chuck a couple juices in there. There's another iteration. This is one of my uh, strawberry milkshake with culotta in it. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's not quite what I was looking for. It's not a bad vape, though, at all. But the other thing you've got is back here on the back. You've got more places. Put your box mods. So you can store more juice up here if you want. Put some juice. Put some juice. Or what else could we put up here? Put a tenderfoot stand up here. Put a tenderfoot stand up there if you wanted. You know, you can put all sorts of stuff up here. You know, if you like your stuff more spaced out, you can space it out. So, a lot of options. Uh, it's got six Addy holders up top here. It's going to vary depending on, you know, what size Batman stand he's, he's making. It's all dependent on what he's making. Um, you'll see these pop up on his Facebook every once in a while. Um, what did I pay for this? I believe I paid... I believe he charged me 75 something like that. These taller stands are going to be 32 The little stands are going to be $26. Um, for, this, for this, he was charging 55 so, uh, everything's reasonably priced. You're not going to go broke buying from Tenderfoot. You are not. Um, unless you buy all of his stands up. Uh, I bought several. I bought several right away. Uh, and then I started chatting with him. And he was amenable to chatting with me. Uh, and he's a really, really, really great guy. Really great guy. He's, he, right now he's currently on vacation. Um, he's having a little bit of staycation. So, he doesn't have a whole lot going up right now, but he is working on stuff. He is working, he does occasionally go out to his garage and make something. So, there you guys go. There's a, there's a Tenderfoot Batman stand. Um, the stand is removable. You can take this off if you don't want it. But it does just sit in there nice and secure when you just have it sitting around. And this sits on my coffee table. This is where all my vape stuff goes. That's over by on the couch when I'm watching TV. Uh, nice little handle, nice little tenderfoot mark down there. And this is hefty. This thing's nice and hefty. Uh, same thing, the build quality is always up there with him. Always, always, always up there. Uh, I just dumped it all off there. That's fine. That's fine, guys. I do stuff like that. Because I never think it through. I never think it through until it's over. So, story of my life right there. I never think it over. <laughs> but, there you go. Drawers coming open. Everything's. There you guys go. You see the Batman symbol there? This is a Batman stand. Um, he does. Like I said, if you, if you ask him about something, he'll let you know if he thinks he can do it, and he'll let you know what he thinks he can get it done for. Um, Let's go ahead and put this. Let's go ahead and put. The, I'm gonna put this up back over on the coffee table, and then I'll be back in a sec. We're back. We're back, guys. We're back. Ah, oh, someone asked me not to blow vapor at the at the camera. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Wanted a better look at the clouds. Let's change over to Demon Cap. Let's go Demon Cap on this. Need to, need to lube that up. It's one thing about these, this Kennedy clone I got. Lube it. Lube your O-rings. Lube, lube your lid. Or lube your top caps. Lube it all. Otherwise, 
it turns into a pain in the butt. It turns into a pain in the butt to get on and off. There we go. I don't even put I don't even push it all the way down anymore. <laughs> it's all right. I wasn't doing that initially. Now it's doing it. So there we go, guys. Ten foot series box. Hmm. That's good. Clouds of vapor just swirling in here now. So, he offers a Tenderfoot offers a wide variety of stuff. Like I said, I knew that I knew from the start this is going to turn into a gush fest. I was going to gush about Tenderfoot stuff. Um, everything I've gotten from him has been top quality. Uh, the build stands, the build stands are the best. They are the best. Uh, the easiest ones to build on, um, the nicest, most convenient, and the craftsmanship that goes in them is spectacular. Uh, the Batman stand is awesome. Uh, the series box is awesome. Uh, he does mostly do parallels. He did have an OKR uh, Raptor box up for a while. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody ever took it off his hands. I think somebody did eventually. But you just have to go on his Facebook page and see what he's got. Um, he's not always going to have a bunch of stuff up. Sometimes he goes out in the garage and he just works and works and works for like 14 hours a day for three days straight. All of a sudden, you'll see like eight stands pop up, and then a Batman stand, and then a box. Um, other times, he's down to two or three, two or three Addy holders. Um, he is working on other on other products that he's been thinking about for a while. Just giving them a, giving them a go, see how it turns out, type thing. So you never know what's going to pop up on his page. Uh, I guarantee all of it's going to be nice. Guarantee all of it's going to be nice. So. little one second drags with this thing it's it's ridiculous <laughs> just ridiculous all right guys uh, that's all I got on this one um, just kind of giving you guys an overview of what tenderfoot what tenderfoot offers um, when I got this series box I was like you know I've pretty much got the complete line of the things he's doing right now so I should do a video on tenderfoots on tenderfoot stuff there you go tenderfoot stands awesome they're awesome um, Batman stance, they're awesome. His box mods are awesome. Um, the quality's up there. Um, you won't be able to find, you know, a lot of people make box mods. Not a lot of people make, you know, all wood, stained, you know, just gorgeous, everything fitting together perfectly box mods. So, you know, everything looks fantastic. So, that's all I got on this one, guys. That's all I got on this one. Everybody be beautiful to each other. Let me know how you're doing in the video. Let me, or let me know how you guys are, do, how you guys are doing in the video. Uh, I watch some of you guys' videos. <laughs> uh, if you make videos, I probably watch your stuff. Um, everybody be beautiful. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. I'll see you on the next video. Cause all those off safe and soundly, we'll all miss your own.